क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीड़ा Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have got to know about how can we prepare alkyl halide by using that is halogenation process uh, that is from alkene. And uh, the secondly, we have done it that how can we prepare alkyl halide from alkene. And now we are going to talk about how can we prepare alkyl halide from alcohols. So this is a topic that we are going to talk about, and this is one of the most important topic uh, in the chapter. The reason behind that is because we are not making the alkyl halide by only using one method. There are also multiple methods from which we could prepare the alkyl halide from alcohols. by using different reagents so that is the reason we are going to talk about this topic that is uh, how can we prepare alkyl halide by using different methods as well as different reagents from alcohols so let us do it so here we are going to talk about that is how can we prepare alkyl halide from alcohol by using different kind of uh, that is reagents or different kind of uh, the methods so talking about the first one that is we can prepare alkyl halide by using that is from halogen acids like we know that is hbr hi hcl so we can use or we can react the alcohol with that of hcl hbr and hi so as to produce the alkyl halide secondly we are going to talk about that how can we prepare an alkyl halide by using alcohol along with that of that is phosphorus halides that is pcl3 PBr3 etc. And uh, lastly, we are going to talk about that how can we prepare the alkyl halide by using alcohol along with that of that is thionyl chloride. So we have to prepare it uh, from alcohol by using different kind of reagents or different kind of other uh, that is uh, uh, reactants. So from which we could prepare the main product. So the first thing that we are going to talk about is that how can we prepare alkyl halide by using alcohol along with that of the halogen acid. So let us talk about that. So basically, this lecture is divided into three parts by using uh, alcohol along with that of the halogen acid, by using alcohol along with that of phosphorus halide, and by using alcohol along with that of the thionyl chloride. And uh, now, main thing we are going to talk about is how can we prepare the alkyl halide by using halogen acid. So, for example, if I take the general reaction, so the general reaction can be given in this way. That is what I am going to represent. That is. So suppose if we have the alcohol suppose generally we represented by roh and suppose if we react it with a uh, halogen acid suppose that halogen acid is nothing but suppose like hx so what will happen is we have to provide certain condition because uh, there are also several uh, reactions which will require a certain condition and then only uh, the product would be formed suppose if this general reaction if i am talking about and uh, this alcohol is reacted with that of a halogen acid and uh, suppose if a certain condition suppose if i am providing a heat so what will happen is the by product that is hoh it means that is h2 it will be removed and along with that the thing that we could get is basically the alkyl group that has been left out and uh, one of the halogen atom that has been left out so therefore we could get that is rx which is nothing but alkyl halide so this is general uh, reaction of uh, how can we uh, that is uh, obtain alkyl halide by using alcohol and halogen acid but halogen acids are divided into further parts that is it can be hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide so based on that we have to do the several reactions and depending on that which reagent we are use and which alkyl halide that we have to obtain there are several that is conditions that are be required so as to uh, give a particular product so now let us understand that what would be the reaction if we use that is alcohol along with that of hydrochloric acid So now we are going to talk about what will be the reaction of an alcohol along with that of the hydrogen chloride. So let us understand that one. And in this case also we are going to talk about that is uh, the alcohol could be primary, secondary, and tertiary. And depending on this thing, we know that uh, the tertiary alcohols are more reactive compared to that of secondary alcohol, and compared to that of uh, uh, that is primary alcohols, uh, the secondary one is very much reactive. And uh, there is a reason that uh, we are we are going to use different kind of different types of the alcohol along with that of HCl. So now we are going to talk about what will be the reaction if a primary alcohol is been reacted with uh, that is HCl, and let us see what are the different conditions that are being involved in this case. So this is methyl alcohol that I am uh, suppose if I am reacting it with that of HCl, but this reaction doesn't take place uh, by its own. We have to provide certain kind of condition, and then only this reaction will happen. so that is the reason we are providing certain kind of catalyst or certain kind of condition where we are going to use that is anhydrous zncl2 along with that of that is sulfuric acid 
and we are going to heat it. So in this case, this hydrogen atom and this OH group they will be removed in the form of that is H2O. And the only thing that will be left out with us is basically a methyl group along with that of a chlorine atom. So making it to be called as CH3Cl which is basically known as methyl chloride. Or we could also say in terms of uh, IUPAC that is chloromethane. So this is what we have prepared it from a primary alcohol. So let me mention that also that is we have used here that is primary alcohol. So this was uh, a one of the example from which we could prepare easily a primary that is halide, alkyl halide. And uh, now let us understand that uh, what will happen if we use that is secondary alcohol along with that of HCl itself. So let us talk about that also. Suppose if I am using a secondary alcohol which is propane 2 or isopropyl alcohol. And if I am again, if I am reacting it with that is of HCl suppose. So this reaction will happen, but we don't have to provide that is uh, more temperature over here because in in this case we have got to know that is uh, the primary alcohol it requires much more critical condition compared to that of the secondary alcohol, and that's the reason we can use anhydrous ZnCl2 over here. But this reaction is carried out at room temperature so we don't have to provide too much of heat to this one so as to obtain a product but uh, the product that would be obtained here is basically one of the hydrogen atom of the cl that would be removed along with that of the oh of the uh, alcohol and we could get the product as so the name of the product that we have obtained over here by by reacting a secondary alcohol along with that of uh, the HCl is uh, we could get that is 2 chloro propane so this is what we have got so in this basically in this chapter we are going to talk about uh, how different types of alcohol uh, react with the halogen acid differently in different condition so this was the secondary alcohol that we have uh, talked about here and uh, talking about the tertiary alcohol even the tertiary alcohol can be reacted with that of HCl so as to produce uh, a tertiary alkyl halide and again the condition would be the same that is anhydrous ZnCl2 along with that of a room temperature if we provide that condition we could obtain the uh, tertiary alkyl halide so this is the thing that we have got over here and uh, now let us talk about uh, so this was something which was uh, related when we had reacted that is alcohol with that of HCl and so this part that we have talked is basically what would be the reaction if alcohol is treated with hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid so this is uh, the thing that we have talked about and now let us discuss that what would be the reaction if alcohol is treated with HBr or hydrogen bromide so now we are going to talk about that is suppose if I am introducing a primary alcohol that is I have represented over here it's a primary alcohol and I am reacting it that of that is uh, HBr suppose but the thing is, we don't have to use here that is anhydrous ZnCl2. There are different conditions. So as I have said earlier also, there are different conditions for different kind of halogen acid that we use or we treated with alcohol. So in this case, we are using HBr along with that of an alcohol. So that's the reason that different conditions are being used. And uh, let me mention it over here that uh, the reagents that are being used here is basically NaBr along with that of that is concentrated H2SO. So this is a kind of substitution reaction that we could get over here and uh, we could see that is this hydrogen uh, of the HBr along with that of this OH of the alcohol they would be removed in the form of that is H2. So the remaining part that is uh, left is basically an alkyl group or basically a methyl group along with that of this bromine atom. So therefore we could get that is CH3Br. So basically in the terms of IPC it is known as so this was the primary alcohol that was being treated with HBr and let us talk about what will be the reaction if the secondary alcohol is being treated with uh, HBr. So let me give you an example. So similar, it is very much similar to that is what we have did uh, earlier. That is when we have reacted an alcohol with that of uh, HCl. But uh, the conditions would be different as I have mentioned earlier also. So, so this is the secondary alcohol that I have mentioned over here. 
and we have to react it with HBr. And that also suppose uh, with a certain kind of solvent or certain kind of catalyst that we could say that is again NaBr along with that of that is in this case because as I have mentioned earlier also that is uh, the secondary alcohols are much more reactive compared to that of the primary alcohols so that's the reason we don't have to provide concentrated H2SO4 we can even uh, treat it with uh, the help of uh, that is dilute H2SO4 so here basically dilute H2SO4 has been sufficient so as to react uh, the alcohol will along with that of the HBr so in this case basically H of the HBr and OH group of the alcohol they would be removed in the form of H2 and uh, the only thing that has been left with us is it would be basically CH3 CH CH3 and here it would be basically beer basically known as isopropyl bromide or we could also say it as 2 bromopropane so that's it this is what uh, I was mentioning about and now let us talk about the last one that is the uh, what will happen if a tertiary alcohol is been treated with that of the HBr? Again, the condition would be the same. The only thing that we could uh, observe is suppose if we have used that is, uh, let me explain this one. Suppose if we have used a tertiary alcohol like CH3, I am mentioning over here. This is tertiary butyl alcohol, or basically we could also call it as that is 2 methyl propane 2 ol. And suppose if it has been reacted with the HBr or hydrogen bromide so the thing is we have to provide a certain reagents that is H NABR along with that of that is again the dilute H2SO4 so again a substitution reaction would take place over here in which basically OH and this H it would be removed in the form of H2 and the remaining part that would be left out is basically the alkyl group and in this case it was a tertiary alkyl group along with that of this BR making this to be called as that is since it is uh, the bromo group that has been uh, according to the IPC it uh, starts earlier because according to the alphabetical so therefore we could write it as 2 bromo 2 methyl propane so this is how we could uh, react a different types of alcohol along with that of HCl as well as HPR and the only thing that has been left out that I want to talk about is basically what will happen if an alcohol is been treated with HI so is that a different condition let us talk about that so now we are going to talk about that what would be the reaction if uh, the alcohol is been treated with that of uh, the hydrogen iodide and let us see what are the different kind of condition that we are going to talk about when primary secondary and tertiary alcohols are been treated with that of the hydrogen iodide So now let us uh, talk about that is what will happen if basically if I'm using a primary alcohol like CH3OH again I'm talking about the same one because it is very much simple to understand. So suppose if this is a primary alcohol that I have mentioned over here and I'm reacting it with that of HI. So the general reaction is very much simple to that is understand. So that is what will happen is we have to just heat it and basically this OH along with this H that will be removed in the form of H2 and the only thing that is been left out is basically CH3I or we could also call it as iodomethyl but this reaction doesn't take place in this manner in fact it can take place by using that is 57% uh, of uh, HI solution but uh, the thing is we can also prepare it by different kind of method different method and that is what we are going to talk about that is whenever we treat that is an alcohol it would be primary, secondary or tertiary suppose if I am again using the same re uh, reactants or like alcohol suppose if methyl alcohol is been treated with basically potassium iodide along with that of that is uh, phosphoric acid that is phosphorus acid that is H3PO4 So in this case basically since we have got to know because uh, HI is the main reason that is hydrogen iodide is the main reason which will convert the uh, alcohol that is uh, into that is iodo alkane. So in this case basically whenever the Ki or whenever the potassium iodide is treated with that is phosphorus acid so in C2 reaction happens and we can obtain HI and that is the reason that we could, uh, we could uh, replace the OH along with that of uh, uh, the iodo atom or uh, iodo group so whenever methyl alcohol or whenever any alcohol is treated with Ki along with that of the H3PO4 we could obtain that is 
and alkyl halide and in this case it is basically CH3I and uh, the byproduct that would be obtained is basically KH2PO4 along with that of that is H2 so this is the same uh, reaction or this is the same uh, product that we have obtained while using this kind of two methods and this is what we have got over here and uh, yes we have to provide a certain condition and that is we have to heat it so this is the thing that we have obtained over here where a methyl alcohol has been converted into that is iodomethane so the question arises that uh, why we didn't use that is H2SO4 and H2SO4 or uh, basically it could be concentrated and uh, or uh, dilute H2SO4 that we have used uh, while uh, converting an alcohol into an alkyl bromide by using NDBR uh, also so why in this case we have not used that is H2SO4 the reason behind that is since we are using hydrogen iodide and that's the reason that uh, whenever we uh, treat uh, hydrogen iodide in presence of a uh, very oxidizing agent like that of H2SO4 so the thing is the I2 would be obtained and that I2 that has been obtained that won't be able to replace the OH group of the methyl alcohol or any kind of alcohol that's the reason that we are using uh, uh, a certain kind of uh, a substance in that case like phosphorus acid which is not as much oxidizing agent like that of H2SO4 so this uh, is the thing that we have obtained over here whenever we have used that is a primary alcohol so as to obtain a primary alkyl halide. So this condition would be the similarly uh, it would be for that is secondary alcohol along with that of the tertiary alcohol also. So the reaction would be the same and we could obtain respectively a secondary alkyl halide or a tertiary alkyl halide. So this was it uh, whenever we have treated the alcohol along with that of an halogen acid. So that's it. And now let us move on to the next one that is what will happen if we treat alcohol with that of phosphorus halide. So now we are going to talk about that uh, what will happen if an alcohol is treated with that of phosphorus halides. So now we are going to uh, talk about that uh, what would be the reaction if an alcohol is treated with phosphorus halide. So let me talk about phosphorus halide. Phosphorus halides can be like it could be phosphorus trihalide also like PCl3, PBr3, Pi3. It could also be a phosphorus pentahalides like PCl5. So, so there are different possibility that we could obtain an alkyl halide or like alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide by using different kind of phosphorus halides and that is what we are going to talk about and uh, let us see that what kind of different uh, that is uh, conditions are being uh, sufficient so as to uh, give a particular alkyl halide. So let us talk about the first one that is what will happen if we treat alcohol in that of PCl3. So let me introduce about uh, what will uh, a general reaction that is uh, what will happen if we use that is alcohol that is ROH along with that of the PCl3 or phosphorus uh, trichloride. So this is a very simple reaction uh, where basically when an alcohol which has been treated with phosphorus trichloride is we say we have to heat it and that's the reason because we have to uh, maintain the stoichiometry of this reactions also so that's the reason that we are going to introduce that is three moles of uh, that is ROH uh, that is alcohol along with that of PCl3 so as to obtain that is uh, three moles of that is alkyl halide along with our, that of that is the only thing that would be left out is basically this phosphorus along with that of 3 OH group and that is uh, basically it would be combined in the form of H3PO3 which is nothing known as phosphorus acid. So this is what we have obtained over here. So now let me introduce an example in this case and it would be very much simple to understand just like uh, the earlier one that we have did that is whenever we use that is methyl alcohol along with that of that is PCl3 suppose and only thing we have to do is we have to heat it and we have to just uh, balance this stoichiometry so as to obtain that is 3 moles of CH3 Cl along with that of H3PO3 that is nothing known as phosphorus acid so this is how we can obtain that is uh, methyl chloride from uh, methyl alcohol by using uh, the phosphorus halide in, in this case basically the phosphorus halide is nothing but uh, PX3 or basically PCl3 so what would we the reaction if an alcohol is been treated with PBr3 or Pi3 so that is the thing that we are going to talk about here also but there would be different kind of uh, uh, the conditions that we have to obtain over here and let us understand that also so now we have understood about what will be the reaction of, of an alcohol along with that of PCl3 and now we are going to talk about what will be the reaction of the alcohol suppose ROH 
if you treat it with that is PBR3. Or we could also call it as phosphorus tribromide. And uh, the reaction goes in this way where uh, this PBR3 it has been prepared in situ just like in the previous one that we have talked about that is uh, the hydrogen uh, iodide. It was been prepared whenever the potassium iodide was been treated with phosphoric acid and so as we in the that is in, within the reaction only we have obtained that is HO and the substitution reaction has been happened. So here also uh, the thing is very much similar that is um, we have to use the red phosphorus over here along with that of the halogen that we have to obtain like suppose if we, we have to obtain PBR3 so that's the reason that we are introducing BR2 over here so if we introduce that one then we could get PBR3 and the rest of the thing is very much similar to the general reaction that we have did earlier and the only thing that we have to do is we have to balance the reaction where this 3 uh, moles of RH has been treated with PBR3 so as to obtain that is 3 moles of I would write it over here as RBR that is alkyl bromide along with that of the phosphorus acid that is H3PO3. So this is what we have got and let me introduce an example also that is whenever we use that is uh, suppose in this case I am introducing something else like C2H5 OH along with that of PBR3 I am balancing it and by using red phosphorus along with that of that is Br2 and while heating it we could get that is 3 moles of C2H5 here Br that is ethyl bromide along with that of the phosphorus acid as a byproduct that is H3PO3 so this is the condition that we have talked about over here so similarly uh, what will happen if we introduce that is uh, an alcohol along with that of uh, that is Pi3 so the condition would be the same that is we have to use uh, that is uh, red phosphorus but in this case here we have introduced that is Br2 so just to just as to obtain an alkyl iodide we have to introduce that is I2 or iodine molecule along with that of the red phosphorus and we could get that is Pi3 and the rest of the thing is it is very much similar to the general reaction that we have did earlier. So that's it this is what I was talking about the phosphorus halide by using PCl3, PBr3 and Pi3. But there is one more uh, phosphorus halide that is been remaining and that is basically PCl5. So what is the different condition of that let me talk about that also. So let me explain you that is whenever an alcohol suppose like ROH again I am representing the general reaction because once we uh, know the general reaction it would be very much easy for us to uh, substitute a particular alkyl group or particular halide group or something substitutes so as to obtain a particular product. So it is very much important for us to understand the general reaction and this is what I am talking about that is whenever an alcohol it could be primary, secondary or tertiary. Suppose in this case, if I am introducing it well, along that of that is PCl5 or BC known as phosphorus pentachloride. So, the only thing that we have to do is we have to provide a certain condition that is we have to heat it. So basically in this case, we don't have to uh, do the stoichiometry, we don't have to balance it uh, because the reason behind that is because of this uh, H that would be very much responsible so as to take one of the Cl uh, from here and uh, that is the reason that uh, uh, HCl will be produced as a byproduct. So, but meanwhile the left out is basically PCl4 and uh, that PCl4 it will react with the oxygen of the alcohol so as to obtain that is POCl3 and the rest is only one chlorine atom has been remaining so it will substitute the OH and that is the reason that we could get basically RCl basically we could call it as alkyl chloride so let me uh, talk this again that is whenever an alcohol is been treated with phosphorus pentachloride and uh, we have to heat it so as to get an alkyl chloride along with that of HCl along with that of the byproduct that is POCl3 that is known as phosphorus oxychloride and this is what we have obtained over here and we could take any of the examples so let me introduce that also so suppose if I am using this one like suppose CH3 suppose this alcohol has been treated with that of PCl5 so basically the byproduct that would be produced that would, we could write it earlier that is HCl along with that of uh, phosphorus oxychloride that is POCl3 and the product that would be the main product that we could obtain over here is basically CH3 C I would write it over CH3 here it is H and here it would be we could call it as like Cl over here so basically this is uh, in terms of IBC name we could call it as that is 2-chloropropane so this is what we have 
so this is also we have did about the two terms that is uh, we have talked about uh, till yet that is uh, whenever we use alcohol along with that of uh, the that is halogen acid as well as we have also discussed about that what will be the reaction if an uh, alcohol is been treated with the uh, phosphorus element and the last remaining is what will happen if an alcohol is been treated with the uh, that is a uh, thionyl uh, chloride so let us understand that also so as to obtain an alkyl halide So this is the part that where we are going to talk about that what will be happen when an alcohol is been treated with thionyl chloride. So let us understand the general reaction here first and uh, we will move on with the example. So let me introduce that is uh, whenever an alcohol like uh, suppose if I am introducing an uh, general reaction that is ROH along with that of uh, thionyl chloride that is SOCl2. The conditions are different and that's the reason that uh, we have discussed about uh, this lecture in a very deep analysis we have did it and um, so the thing that we have to do is we have to use certain kind of reagents and in this case basically it is pyridine and we have to reflex it so the solvent that we have used over here is pyridine and we are reflexing it basically we are heating it so what will happen is basically this SO along with that of this oxygen it will be moved as SO2 and it will vaporize but meanwhile, this hydrogen along with that of this uh, one of the Cl atom, it will be also vaporized in the form of HCl or it will evaporate. The only thing that will be left out is basically alkyl group and one of the Cl or one of the Cl atom. So this is what we have obtained alkyl halide. So this is the alkyl halide that we have obtained and especially alkyl chloride that we have obtained over here. So let me introduce an example and let me talk about the speciality of this kind of uh, reaction. So suppose if I am uh, getting an example like this one, suppose uh, like CH3CH2OH and if I am treating it with thionyl chloride that is SOCl2. So in presence of pyridine as a solvent and uh, we are basically we are hitting it or we are refreshing it. So the thing that would be obtained over here is basically CH3, CH2 and instead of OH it would be replaced by Cl, that is Cl atom and the rest of the thing is SO2 it will be vaporized and along with that of HCl it would be vaporized over here and we have obtained uh, the alkyl chloride basically in this case we could also call it as ethyl chloride or chloroethene. But what is the speciality of this kind of reaction? The thing is, if you observe uh, the previous reactions wherever an alcohol was been treated with uh, HCl, HBr, HI or uh, it was been treated with phosphorus halide. But when this kind of reaction happens, when an alcohol is been treated with that of uh, thionyl chloride, so we could see that the byproduct that has been obtained over here, that is uh, SO2, that is uh, sulfur dioxide along with that of HCl, it vaporizes and the only thing that is left out is basically an alkyl halide. So this makes us to understand that this is the best method so as to prepare uh, an alkyl halide from an alcohol. And uh, it is still yet to be known as uh, the best method to prepare that is uh, alkyl halide from an alcohol if we have observed the previous three. So that's it. This is what I want to talk about and uh, that is how uh, this lecture ends. And I hope you have about to know that how can uh, we prepare alkyl halide by using different kind of reagents and uh, different kind of uh, that is conditions. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and will share this video with your friends too. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.